everyone, today I am in the absolutely spectacular Perry Sandhills in Wentworth, New South Wales. I'm really excited to be here. This place is like a miniature red sand desert just in the middle of a town. Um, it's really pretty. I'm a little bit puffed out from, uh, from hiking up the hill, but um, yeah, let me show you guys the view. Alright, so straight into the time lapse. So I've just oiled my wooden board and now I'm starting on my drawing up. And as I have mentioned previously, I really struggle with sand. I think it's one of the most challenging subjects to try and replicate. And it's just because there's not all that much contrast in it. Um, having said that, you can see in the background there's all these beautiful ripples in the sand and they're like dark shadows and like all these beautiful lines and highlights. Um, uh, however, the lighting changes pretty quickly in this area. So I got here fairly early in the morning and the lighting was quite contrasty. And I think by the time I finished painting, it was, it was much flatter. Um, and you know, because I wanted to start in the background of the painting and sort of get that happening correctly first, uh, it took me too long to actually get to the foreground. Uh, if you guys are going to a remote area like this, please take plenty of water. Uh, I just want to say that. Like, I feel like I'm a bit of a camel, like, I don't really need that much water. But um, sometimes when I'm in areas like this, I'm, like, really thirsty. And I did take a water bottle. It was a one litre water bottle. And I ran out of water about three quarter way through this painting. Um, but... I did not want to stop and go to the car to get more water and then come back to the painting. So I just toughed it out. Um, but I got to say, I was getting a little bit concerned towards the end of it. Um, so funny enough, I actually had signal on this sand dune, which I really wasn't expecting. So because I was feeling uh, a little bit unsure about the painting and I had a lot of doubts running through my mind, I actually called my mum and I, I was on the phone to her for like most of this painting. Um, also the wind picked up a lot in the afternoon and it was like super duper windy there, like really, really windy. I was um, getting worried that the easel might blow over. Looking back at it, I'm like, this painting is already looking pretty good. Uh, and at the time I didn't have a lot of confidence in it because the day before I had done a painting that I was completely unhappy with. And um, yeah, I don't know, it just kind of uh, knocked me about a bit because it made me feel like, oh, uh, maybe I'm not a good painter, um, which, you know, I, I don't usually have those doubts, but every now and then there's just like a moment where I just think, oh, what am I doing, you know? But um, yeah, no, so because I'd done a painting that I wasn't very happy with the day before, I was really struggling to see this one as going okay. Um, and looking back at it, you know, watching this time lapse, I'm like, actually, it looks all right even in these stages, but I did not like it at all in these stages at the time. And um, yeah, I mean, I was just doing my best to stick it out. It was pretty hot there also, so I think it was probably around 40 degrees. I didn't actually check the weather, but the reason I'm wearing a jumper is because the flies are too annoying. So, and also I didn't want to get burnt by the sun and I only had a short sleeve t-shirt on. So I figured it was better to just wear a jumper. However, if I was doing this again, I would definitely have chosen different attire for the day. Definitely still long sleeves because you know, there's really nothing that can shelter you properly from the Australian sun apart from covering up. So I'm just working on the bush that's in the foreground and uh, all, the, all the little plants as well. And I'm actually pretty happy with how this painting is now turning out because in the beginning stages, as I said, I really was struggling with this painting. And even at this stage in real life, I think I was struggling and sort of thinking, oh, I'm not sure about it. But like looking back at the time lapse, I am super happy with this. And 
Um, you can see that the, the contrast has gone pretty much entirely from the sand that's close to me. There was all those beautiful ripples in it in the morning and now that's mostly fairly flat looking. Um, and I suppose if you really wanted to get those beautiful contrasts in, uh, you could probably start the painting in the middle of the day and then you know be finishing up with the details in the late afternoon as the sun's sort of almost going down and you've got like all the shadows and contrasts back but for me that wasn't really an option because this area is really remote and I don't feel safe in areas like this unless it's like the middle of the day um, but also in the evening here a lot of snakes are around so it just felt like a better idea to paint in the middle of the day. So I was cleaning my palette knife and as I pulled the palette knife down next to the cloth I didn't realize my finger was next to it so I've actually given that quite a bit of a slice. Um, that's not alizarin crimson, that is Kate's blood. I'm just finishing up the sand and I'm trying to make it obvious that there's ripples in the sand um, but also keep them soft. I tried to draw them in as swirly lines earlier, but it made the painting look too still and I didn't like it. So uh, this is my attempt at that. I finished the painting, I'm really pleased. I do feel like this one was a real struggle in the beginning and I nearly gave up on it, but I'm so glad that I stuck it out. It's now got quite warm actually. Uh, the time right now is 2.28 and I think it was about 8 a.m. when I got here, so that's been like six and a half hours, uh, but I think it's turned out really worth it and I'm super happy with it. So let me show it to you guys. All right, here's the completed painting. I am really pleased with how this has turned out, especially this area in through here. I feel like that's got a lot of depth. I feel like it, it really works. If I go down to this angle, it nearly, like nearly, nearly, nearly blends in. Yeah, like there. All right, and here is a photo of my finished painting just so that you guys can see it in a little bit better detail. And I feel like the colors are, are really matching the colors that were actually there. And I'm really happy with this painting. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye.